Hey everyone, I'm Linda Bennett, your spiritual counselor and psychic host for Metaphysically Speaking. I'm glad you're with us today because we are going to be talking about dreams. Some of you are going to be holding your heads and say, oh no, I don't want to hear about making a dream list and I've tried that and it doesn't work. I know. And some of you are going to say, oh, dreams are just nothing. They're not important. It's just something for the mind to do. Not necessarily. So we're going to be clearing up some misconceptions for you today and we're going to be exploring the reasons why you dream and uh, what happens if you don't and do pussycats dream the answer is yes there was a fabulous show recently on nova on pbs which uh deals with research they've been doing into dreams now they've been researching the brain for years and researching dreams and really not coming up with much more than we have REM sleep REM and that's rapid eye movement and they think that's when they're doing a lot of dreaming well guess what they've discovered it's not the only time you're dreaming you're dreaming the whole night whether they can figure it out or not there are brain waves they don't know how to decipher so we will be talking about this, and the topic of the uh, show today comes to us from a viewer named Chris, and she said, um, Hi, Linda, I'm catching up with your current shows via YouTube because Metaphysically Speaking is on the web, we're on YouTube, we're on, what is it, Twitter? On Twitter, I don't know what else there is out there. Facebook. Um, I'm, I myself do not view Facebook or Twitter, but nevertheless, um, apparently that's where they are. And she said, thank you for posting them. She grew up in Florida and used to watch my TV show all the time. Do you plan to make your meditation tapes available on DVD or iTunes? Uh, we're working on that project right now. Also wondering if you haven't done so recently, could you do a show on dreams and dream work? Boy, dream work really fries me. So I'm circling that on your... <laughs> <laughs> your um what is this called now this is a, a post a post okay um how they might relate to past lives which they do and future events which they do and how to deal with ongoing negative dream experiences chris thank you for this it doesn't say where you're living now um but nevertheless i want to thank you for your question and i could do the entire show on just this so let's start with what you're talking about Dream work is what you um, pay a lot of money for to go uh, to a seminar and listen to somebody tell you that you can make your dreams come true or you can straighten your life out or you can, you know, make your dream wish list and you can dream your husband or your wife and you can dream success. If you just make a list and really focus on it before you go to bed and review it every single night, maybe make some improvements. The improvements is my suggestion because I'm a list person as well. I don't make them as extensively as a lot of people because I think in my own shorthand. But um, sometimes this can work, but most of the time it doesn't because your mind is not interested in your dream list. Your mind, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind, and your super conscious mind. What's the super conscious mind? We'll get to that. But the three levels of your mind are interested in what you need at this particular moment. Now, you may think you need a new husband at this moment or a new car or a new job. But your soul, which rules your life and your conscious and superconscious and subconscious mind, rather, your soul, your superconscious mind, rules everything. And it knows what is most important to you at this very moment, what's coming up, what you need to get cleared out, what you need to get straight in your mind, more so than whatever list you're working on. So I cannot even tell you how many people over the years have come to me. They spent a lot of money on these dream classes, dream seminars. They went away. They had a nice time. But the whole thing was a waste of time and money because it generally doesn't work. If it coincidentally is time for you to make a list out because you've cleared out enough things and you've got enough things straightened out both in the conscious and unconscious and superconscious mind, then the soul will say, sure, make a list. Let's take a look at it. 
So I personally, and I'm sorry if I'm irritating dream work teachers, um, I personally don't recommend dream work classes. And this is partly why, because your soul knows what you need more than the dream work teacher. Now, it's nice to know that you can make a list. I have a happy life list that I teach people to make, and it deals with the things that are important for you to form the character that you want to create for yourself, improve the character that you already have, work to develop better relationships with people, work to eliminate the people from your life you need to get rid of. And I'm not saying, you know, the old, remember when we were kids, make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver, the other is gold. Sometimes, old or new, people are not on the same journey that you are on. For instance, you may have grown up and you're happy and you're delighted and you're a sober person and you have a nice career and maybe you're in a nice relationship, but your friends from the old neighborhood are all drunk or stoned or whatever they are. You do not keep those people in your life because they are angry at you for climbing out of the cesspool that they are living in. And they will do anything to drag you back in. So you need to evaluate people in your life. If somebody is abusive, you need to find out why that person is abusive. You cannot change other people. I've said that a million times on my shows. I'll keep on saying it. People change themselves. You can point something out and make yourself clear so they fully understand your position. But that doesn't mean they're going to change. So if people are not on the same pathway to life that you are on, you need to let them go. I wrote something years ago called um, Thoughts on Meditation. And I said, um, I think I'll paraphrase it because I can't remember exactly what I said, but I said, not everyone is on the same pathway that you're on. You need to let them go so you continue on your pathway and they need to find their own paths. So in your dreaming situations every single night, and they have discovered, they used to think again that all you did was dream in the REM state. Now they know that you're dreaming the whole night and they don't know what you're doing. Well, part of what you're doing is dealing with your past lives while you're still in your body. And part of what you're doing is astral traveling. That means your soul is dashing off to another place. It could be to New Jersey, it could be to Hawaii, it could be to Ireland, it could be to another planet. You are doing double duty in this lifetime, in your physical body and in your mind, your astral body, your super conscious part of yourself, your soul. So you're saying, boy, no wonder I'm exhausted all the time. <laughs> I can fully appreciate that because I wake up exhausted every day. And it's not just my cat pestering me. It is because I have been very, very busy in the astral world. So the dream work is nice. And I'm not saying you can't make a list. And dream work, yes, you do meditation. Yes, you make out a list. Yes, you focus on it in meditation. Yes, you read it over before you go to bed. But I wouldn't get really disappointed if what you've put on your list doesn't work or doesn't work now. It may work in the future. And um, your dreams relate to, I have a whole list of things here. I hope I can get to the whole list in this, in this segment. Um, your dreams are relating to 